would happen if we could harness the energy of a black hole? Theoretically, we could collect all that power without any super advanced new tech. And if we did, we'd have access to more energy than we'd know what to do with. But of course, it's not that easy. What makes black holes such an attractive energy source? It's their high energy conversion rate. Let's do some math. Take a three kilogram kitten and multiply his mass by the speed of light squared. You'll see that the energy contained within this one little kitty is enough to power up 6.4 million American homes for a year. But you could never extract all that energy from a cat. The best energy producers we have right now, nuclear fission and nuclear fusion, only gather 0.08 and 0.7% of the potential energy in mass. Black holes are a different story. Their energy conversion rate sits around the 40% mark. But finding a black hole wouldn't be easy. With today's available technology, even getting into the neighborhood of a black hole would take you about 12 million years. So let's fast forward and assume that we've found a black hole nearby. How would we go about getting the most out of it? We could try throwing stuff into the black hole. The gravitational pull of a black hole would cause anything dropped into it to speed up and release energy as it went. Or we could drop things into the accretion disk of a black hole where all the dust particles are caught in its orbit. From there, we'd be collecting energy in the form of radiation, something known as the Penrose process. Some great minds have come up with a theory that a box designed to collect energy could be sent from a safe distance point via a rope to a location close to a black hole's event horizon, filling with radiation in the process. One problem here is ensuring that the box and the rope don't get sucked into the hole. According to some calculations, the box suitable for this task could only be the size of bacteria so that the rope could still support it. We might as well dip strings right into the event horizon and drain a black hole completely dry. It would take a very, very long time, but once it's done, the most ambitious energy dreams would come true. We could abandon our power plants and finally stop polluting the planet. We could fuel up our rockets and go explore outer space. We'd start building megastructures in space. The things we could do with unlimited energy. But first, we'd need to spend millions of years traveling to a suitable black hole. That is, unless we could develop a warp drive technology to speed things up.